Hey YouTubers, Xander here. Welcome to Extreme House Makeover Terraria Edition. I mean, Terraria 1.3... What is the, what? Wait, what, what edition is this? 1.3.5.2. Point expert. Okay. We got it. We figured it out. We're good. Anyways, uh, we're going to be editing the house. Taking a break from trying to farm the Ankh Charm. You've got nothing useful, you suck doo doo I don't know why I started doing the Inspector Gadget theme. But we can make a slime room, so let's do that. Slime table. Slime door. Slime door number two. Slime chair. I feel like there's more. There must be more. Aha, there is. Cool mechanics. Some ice torches. Can slime candelabra. Now, how do I make? Okay, I can make slime walls. So let's work on that. We'll be kind of bypassing the... Uh, the fact that we just have an empty snow room for now. Damn it. <laughs> I think the obvious answer for torches would actually be pink torches because it's made from pink gel, but fuck that. So why are we getting small amounts of snow? Is that because of that? Weird. Yeah. Oh wow, that's surprisingly bright looking. No, just barely not enough. That's okay. We can make more. I don't need to make the actual blocks. I need to make the wall. That's more than enough. Head on over here. Let's actually spruce it up a little bit more. We'll throw in a lantern. We'll throw in dresser. Uh, that's all we'll throw in, I guess. Okay. There we go. Yay!
Oh. I guess we will need that eventually. Click right over here. Oh, look, we have a guide now because we didn't have enough freaking rooms. Okay. I need to look into some sort of ice based furniture. So, holy hell, those day blooms. So, let's head on over to the ice biome, see what we can ground up. Also, need to make some sort of stone room. Ooh, we also need lots of sand for glass, now that I think about it. So, let's do this. This. more than enough sand for a small room. Elwood, interesting. Probably try and make a wait, why am I collecting the wall? I mean I know why I'm collecting the wall. Collecting the boreal wall to convert it back into boreal wood. If I can. Oh, hello, floaty girls. I'm done with you. Oh, shit. Okay. Um. You're a thing. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, shit, shit, shit. Let's just let the two of those uh, take care of things. Whew. Tendon hook. Interesting. Huh. Let's head up to the surface and see if um, there's any trees that we can just cut down. I completely forgot that like certain biomes have their own specific uh, trees that grow in them. Okay, cool. Here we are. Yeah. Now it's probably what I made the. Oh man. Now I think about that's probably what I made this room's furniture out of, but oh well. 
Redundancy be damned. Cactus walls. That's a thing? Tell me cactus furniture is a thing too. Yeah, that's basically what I built there. Whoops. Okay, hang on. So first off, we'll slap that down there. Then we'll slap that down there. That down there. just be dark. I don't have any sort of boreal lighting. Hmm. Okay, let's see. I need to, like, condense some stuff. Too much shit. All right, so let's head in here. What do we got? We no longer need the ice blocks or the snow blocks. Cause I'll just toss them down there. Well, I'll actually take the glass because that's what I'm about to use next. Oh wow, I got plenty of boreal wood. What am I? Where's my guide at? Cause why the hell can't I? Uh, okay, dude. Marshmallow on a stick? What? Marshmallow? Where the heck do I get marshmallows from? Tall gate. Interesting. It actually requires ice torches. Okay. So I need to make ice torches. Damn it. This one. So first we make ice torches, then we can actually make some light based furniture from the boreal wood. Got it. Okay, oh, and there we are. There. Head back up here. We'll put the candelabra there. Put the lamp there. In theory, this should be adequate, and it is. Okay. That's, I guess I forgot to do that too. All right, I see the moon phase, okay. So this gives us an indicator of yesterday there was no moon, so now we're starting to fill again. So that means we're more than halfway towards the full moon where the werewolves will be. Got it. Oh yeah, I need to put up that banner. Done with that. I mean, I guess we might as well just trade that out. Uh, 
Do I have a regular wood kept anywhere? <laughs> Shit, I don't. Alright, fine. Regular wood, you can go there for now. What the fuck do I have dirt blocks? Okay. This should probably make some more torches. I need to look at the tendon hook after I'm done with these. Okay, wait, head back down here. We need glass. Glass. Glass walls. Oh, we need the glass kiln to be able to... Wait, head back up here. Where is... Hey, you're back. Cool. I need to talk to you, dude. Glass. I need to figure out... Where I make the glass kiln. No, nope, that's the glass clock. Another glass clock. All the other clocks. Um. Shit. <laughs> All these different clocks. So I can't actually craft Interesting. Okay, so where do I get the glass kiln from? Alright, well I can't find out because I think I need to restart my iPad. So let's do that. Alright. Well in the meantime we can at least focus on the stone room instead. Actually, wait, what am I doing? Just make a stone. I need to convert that into bricks first. Duh. We Stone slab. Yay, boring gray bricks. A chimney. So let's see, we could do this. Go like this. I realize I don't have enough and make more. which I made way too many of. There we go. I'll then take these. I need a few more. Ooh. 
We. No, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Okay. All right, so that's good. We need more glass wall. We need more glass. Oh, shoot, I'm going back and forth. I'm an idiot. I bet whoever lives in this room because they are not going to have any privacy. That's okay. They'll live. Maybe. It depends. <laughs> it depends on what kind of invasions we get. Alright. Put that all back. Okay, Sue. We have the structure of those buildings built. Let's look. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, interesting. So we can actually figure out where the rusty armored bones will spawn based on the backdrops on the dungeons themselves. But now I want to look for the glass kiln. Oh. Oh. That's why I didn't see it, it's because it doesn't even require glass. Just leaden torches. No, oh, there it is. Bunk. That was easy. Well, I'm a dingus. So let's see, we will set up the glass kiln. I mean, I guess the smart placement would be in the glass room, right? So let's do that. There we go. So we need one of those, we'll need one of those, we'll need one of those. Bunk. Bunk. Bunks, that's technically suitable uh, furniture placement now, but yeah, set up that and set up that. There we go. Nice. I like it. All right, so we have the glass room almost done. Now it's done. I need wood, so let's cut some trees down. You'll never catch me, Maha. Bunk. Tree or two here. Okay. 
So now I have wood. Since I was kind of like out of it, more or less. Place those there. Store with the rest. Quick stack. Okay, let's see. I want to look up gray brick. I'm looking to see if it's pos if there's any type of like stone like furniture. Is there really no stone furniture? Let's look up furniture as a whole, shall we? Okay, well, let's see. If we want to make stone furniture, we're going to need... Oh, look up, like, table and chair. Do I, I do have a meteorite room, don't I? I never made a meteorite room either? No. Wow, I suck. Hmm, there actually are not, like, there is no stone set. Interesting. How many meteors, meteor, how much? Whoa, never mind. Okay. Alright, you know what? Let's just cancel this for now. We got two more rooms anyways. There we go. Okay. Toss that back up there. Get rid of that. I actually want that lead ore. The hell just died. Okay. Throw the stone and sand in there. Set 
sell that. Throw those in there. Quick stack that. Uh, glass goes there. Okay. <laughs> um, I guess the final thing would be to test out what exactly does the slime hook. Okay, so the slime hook allows us to go bloomp, bloomp between three. The tendon hook allows us to go through three as well. And it looks weirder. So the next thing to look at would be distance. It's kind of hard to tell, but I think that grabs at the end of the fire. Whoa. That does not even reach the fire. So the tendon hook's just a straight upgrade. Awesome, okay, so we got ourselves a new uh, hook. Awesome, all right, well, let's sell the old one. Bunk. Nice. Shit, I've been wasting sonar potions this whole time. I'm an idiot. Let's throw this stuff away so I stop being an idiot. There we go. Whoops. Alright. Time's up for this episode. Uh, again, it was a break. More or less from... I don't know, just the fighting, the, just everything, just, I don't know, making the house look cooler, we added, what, a whopping two, three rooms, I think, maybe, yeah, two, three rooms, whatever, close enough, anyways, um, jeez, so in the next episode, we'll, um, we'll probably be heading to a different world, my, uh, furthest one. We'll head into the dungeon, and our goal will be to <clears throat> find an area where we can get, whatchamacallit, oh, we need that last little, we need the adhesive bandage, is that what I'm looking for? <laughs> let me look that up, oh, let me just hug the wiki, because that's all I fucking do anymore. Uh, unk, shield, punk. Give me that sweet, sweet chart. Yeah, we need the adhesive bandage still. So for that, we'll go and fight Rusty Armor Bones in the other file, and it'll. We have a less chance. We have a one in one hundred chance versus a one in fifty. But obviously, when we can't even find the thing that we're trying to kill in this file, there's no point. But once we have the Ankh Charm, we'll try and, uh, your Ankh Shield, sorry. We'll try and get it to warding, and then work on the arena for Plant Terrafight. Oh, man. And if all of this prep does not work, I don't know what to do. Anyways, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I guess I will see you next time.